Hi everyone, this is John Girardi with Right to Life of Central California, bringing you another in our 40 videos for 40 Days for Life series. 40 Days for Life is the international campaign of prayer and presence outside abortion clinics throughout the country and throughout the world. If you want to learn more uh, about our campaign this year, please get in touch with us at rtlcc.org or give us a call at 559-229-2229. I want to talk uh, for maybe a couple of lessons on the ship, for a couple of lessons, for a couple of episodes of this 40 Videos for 40 Days for Life series about uh, the development of Christian teaching on the question of abortion. Uh, it's kind of an interesting topic. I'm going to be presenting to it uh, about it to uh, a bunch of young people from San Joaquin Memorial High School uh, over the course of these uh, next few weeks. And so I thought I would address it because uh, I think it's really interesting. So I think the first thing I want to address is the viewpoints of Judaism and Christianity towards um, children and the weak in the ancient world, in an ancient world that very much did not value uh, people who were small and weak. So Christianity and Judaism was very much characterized by a particular concern for people who in most other ancient societies were basically total nothings. Uh, Christianity and Judaism had a real particular concern for widows, for orphans, for children. Um, you often find in Old Testament literature that uh, the Jewish people as a whole would be judged negatively by the prophets specifically because of the ways in which they were mistreating or not taking appropriate care of women and children and orphans. And this concern for people who were specifically people of the lowest status in society, people with the least amount of sway, the least amount of power, and you saw this in all kinds of other societies, uh, it really set the Jewish people apart from their surroundings um, within all kind, within many of the pagan cultures that surrounded them. Women and children were more or less property. In, in the Roman system, uh, women and children, uh, a pater familias, the, he the, the male uh, free head of a Roman household, uh, the oldest male in the Roman household, could execute his own son. He could sell his own son into slavery if he wanted to. It wasn't a very frequently exercised right, but if paterfamilias had that authority in the Roman family. Um, and furthermore, within the structure of a Roman household under the paterfamilias, uh, the, the father had the ability for his wife and any slaves, male or female, under him to engage in all kinds of horrible forms, even of, um, of sexual violence and dominance over them. Life in the ancient world for many children, many, 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 many children, and many, 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 many women, uh, was often brutal and nasty, sometimes very often short. Um, it uh, could be characterized by sexual violence imposed upon them by men who were more powerful than them. And it, it, it was, you could see this in, in all kinds of societies that the losers in society uh, were ground underfoot. Uh, most war in the ancient, many forms of war in the ancient world simply meant that uh, the men would be killed and the women would be sold, women and children would be sold into slavery and often slavery meant sexual slavery. Um, it, it, it was a very brutal place. And Judaism and Christianity, Christianity, which took this unbelievable approach towards people who did not have Roman citizenship, towards people who were slaves, view, viewing them as equal members within the Christian community, valued members within the Christian community. Uh, the approach of Judaism to look at women and children as valued members of society and their countercultural norms of being opposed to abortion, contraception and infanticide so tomorrow on the show i want i want to specifically talk about those things how judaism and christianity were countercultural, not just in the more general sense of respecting and cherishing those who were small and little and powerless within society but also of looking specifically at the questions of abortion uh contraception and infanticide that'll be tomorrow on 40 videos for 40 days for life. Thanks so much for watching. This is John Girardi.